I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Sierra Gates responds to followers after revealing her engagement to Xavier. I think I'm probably one of the first ones who tried it. That shit made me so sick. And I couldn't do that. So I came up with Eat Your Way Down. And a lot of my following been doing it with me. A lot of my following still do it. And they losing weight. It's a good thing. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Somebody said, tell his lucky ass. I said, what's up? I ain't so I'm lucky too though. Y'all listen. Y'all know I play into relationships. But when I tell y'all, I'm going to and hell for my man. I love him real bad. Mm-mm. I'm scared of Ozempic. So each is on though. This is for all the positive people that want to do Eat Your Weight Down. If you don't want to do, you welcome quiz. Um, if you want to do Eat Your Weight Down with me, join. If not, don't. Y'all want to see more of my relationship? more um, stuff with me and Paris and Mason ain't gonna do it. Y'all know every time I try to film Mason, he be running. Oh, I'm eating the I see a bowl. Okay, so basically, let me tell y'all. By me eating this bowl, I'm only gonna eat like a third of the bowl. So with your, eat your weight down, it comes with a book a portion control plate um, and a measuring tape so you can, you know, measure your weight and stuff. But you really, so I'm eating, I'm really using my portion control plate with this Osea bowl because I'm only able to eat half of a half. So I can't eat the whole bowl because each your weight down don't allow me. But I'm telling y'all, the people that have done it, y'all tell them, once you turn your body after that first week, you lose so much weight and you really eat less and you really, really, really lose the weight. But you really have to like travel with your bowl. Of course, I came up with a bowl, so I kind of know how to monitor it. So out of this, I see a bowl right here. Yeah, it made me sick. No, the Ozempic made me so sick. I had to go to the hospital. I can't do the Ozempic. Hold on y'all, look. This is A's. Cause he doing it with well, he just eat healthy with me this month. But y'all know with each your weight down, you can still eat whatever you want, but you just can't eat as much. So basically that's his bowl. This my bowl. So if you want to eat your weight up, you just gotta eat a whole bunch of protein. And I'm actually making it into a challenge. I don't know how to say it for real. What is it? Acai? I don't know. <laughs> so, basically, girl, she said I had more surgery. Girl, you see how big I am right now? What I had surgery to fill me up some? No. My weight fluctuates so bad. My fiance be like, he can't believe how I can gain weight so fast. But then I can lose it good too. But, you know, that's just my body type. So, I'm only going to be able to eat a third of this, y'all. Literally a third. And, I don't know. I don't think I want them um, kiwis. Just hemp seed, granola. Y'all yeah, know it's like a smoothie at the bottom. 
Oh, metabolism. Okay, cool. Thank you for telling me. Um, no, I'm not going to eat the whole thing, sis, because that's the part of the, that's the part of eat your weight down. I'm going to do another, um, I'm going to do another live so I can get some people, a few people to join the challenge because how I do it, how I'm doing it this time, I'm going to have a secret live for us. I'm not just going to be doing it public. Because honestly, I want to do this for a lot of reasons. I want to lose weight, but I also want to do it for spiritual reasons. So I really don't want to, honestly, y'all, I don't want to see the negativity. And I'm giving away like a cash prize, first place $1,000, second place $500, and third place $200, so that we can make it fun. And I think it's going to be like $22 to join, $22, $30, I don't, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But it's gonna be a, a, a just like a little community for us to really like motivate each other, show each other self love. I really see that like a lot of people, um, that's one of that uh, something big that they that they need help with, like self love, staying encouraged when crazy stuff happen. You know them getting off track, especially like some people when they get the they eat a lot. Some people when they get the they don't eat at all so it's just gonna be like a real self-love um journey type of community so yeah I think it's gonna be fun and then I get to pour into y'all we get to find new ways to make money I want to do a live um, I mean not a live but I want to do a um let me ask y'all a question would y'all buy a live not a live but a um, webinar with me telling you how to get a ring in less than a year to get a guy to propose because it's not really to get but like some of the things a woman should put into the air, the energy they should put out when they're dating. If I do a um, a webinar on that, would y'all get it? Y'all could be honest. So a lot of people said no. I'm not saying no, baby girl. <laughs> No. Damn, everybody said no. <laughs> At least I keep rings. And some of y'all ain't never even been proposed to. Mm -mm, somebody said hell no. No, because you know better than what man. Everyone saying no is crazy. Exactly. <laughs> I know they lying. Y'all know the internet. You cannot win with the internet. Sometimes you just gotta like, let people talk. And do you. Watch when I drop this um, webinar. How many people sign up. Watch. Just because, wait, let me take a screenshot of all the no's so I can post it when I'm promoting my uh, webinar. Hold on, wait. Somebody said, I'm going to join. I know that's right. Come on. Mm-mm. Men do do what they want to do, but women do play a big part. 
and a lot of stuff that we don't take in consideration and that's another conversation for another day because i don't want y'all are you raving at me i have had enough i have had enough Somebody said, my good sis had three wings and loving hip hop. Y'all baby daddy don't even like y'all for real. Oh my God. Don't say that, sis. No, you're right. Totally. Somebody said, a successful, healthy marriage is better than multiple proposals, my girl. I love you, but anyway, boo. You know, I'm like one of them people that really could take constructive criticism because it's always a conversation. Everybody have opinions and it's always a conversation because she's totally right. But here, here's the thing. I've been in relationships and, you know, when you when people propose, I you don't have to say yes all the time, but just knowing that you got that power, like, that's something about you that even can get a man to propose is a real plus 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 let me throw that away too thank you no. yeah no i only can eat 30 percent with each other right down I have. Remember, I was married 10 years. I was married to 10 years, y'all. Yeah, I forgot about that. I've always been a wife type. Well, um, let me see. You got money. Of course, they want to keep you. Well, no, I want to say that for all of them. I need a piece. I was looking for a napkin. I want to say that for all of them. Now, my last one, woo! But, no. Xavier don't even near play. He's a man, man. We're going to have a we gonna have a relationship live soon. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a relationship live. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to talk about Eat Your Weight Down. And see, this is the stuff we're going to be talking about in our community. With each your weight down, love, relationships, self-love. Because when you're getting yourself together for real, y'all, and you're really trying to make your millions and stuff like that, you really got to start within. Like, I have been doing a lot. Like, just to reach where I am in life, I literally had to, like, cleanse and go through a lot. And guess what? I'm still doing it. I'm still healing. I'm still going through things. I'm still, you know, facing things and healing from things and people and stuff like that so it's not just a one-day process and I feel like everything that I go through in life is just like one of my testimonies and I never look at it like dang why this happening to me I look at it like okay God what do you want me to teach the people out of this Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.